This is Akash Pani Shillong. The Northeast News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. Chief executive members of 10 autonomous councils from northeastern states yesterday met Union Home Minister Amit Shah in New Delhi and sought his intervention to resolve long pending issue of the autonomous bodies in the region. The delegation, led by the Chief Executive Member of Boroland Territorial Region of Assam, Promote Boro, submitted a memorandum to Shah requesting him to table and ensure passage of the Constitutional 125th Amendment Bill 2019 in Parliament with necessary modifications at the earliest. Shah has assured that all pending issues pertaining to the 125th Constitutional Amendment Bill would be resolved within a month and a committee under Union Minister of State for Home Affairs would be formed to further consult with all concerned regarding the necessary points made by all the 10 Sixth Scheduled Councils from the Northeast. The Union Home Minister also assured to resolve issues pending from the previous governments. Meanwhile, another meeting of the 10 councils will be held at Shillong in Meghalaya on August 10th. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar yesterday reached Vientiane, Laos, for a three day visit to participate in the foreign ministers' meetings under the ASEAN. Dr. Jai Shankar said through a social media post that he is looking forward to further deepening Indian ties with ASEAN as India marks a decade of Act East policy. The policy aims to promote economic cooperation, cultural ties and developing a strategic relationship with countries in Indo-Pacific region with a proactive and pragmatic approach and thereby improving the economic development of the northeastern region which is a gateway to the Southeast Asia region. Sikkim Governor Lakshman Prasad Acharya will address the budget session of the State Assembly which will commence from the 5th of August. Sikkim Legislative Assembly Speaker Mingba Norbu Sherpa and Deputy Speaker Raj Kumari Thapa called on the Governor at Raj Bhavan in Gangtok yesterday and extended a formal invitation to the Governor to address the ensuing budget session of the State Assembly. The Governor graciously accepted the invitation and expressed that it will be his privilege to be a part of the legislative business of the State Assembly, which will eventually pave the way for progress and prosperity of the State. Information and Broadcasting Minister Ashwini Vaishnav yesterday inaugurated India's 500th community radio station through video conferencing in the presence of Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Dr. L. Murugan and Chief Minister of Mizoram Lal Duhoma. The station, Apna Radio 90.0 FM, is a station run by the Indian Institute of Mass Communication, ISOL. In his address, Vaishnav said, the initiative will bring a substantive change in the lives of people in the coverage area of Apna Radio Station. He stated that this launch is also a significant milestone in the government's policy of Act East. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh released benefits amounting to 1.23 crore rupees to about 495 beneficiaries under four projects taken up by the Department of Sericulture. The program was jointly organized by the Department of Sericulture and Building and Other Construction Workers Welfare Board at the Chief Minister's Secretariat yesterday. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said that due to the unprecedented crisis in the state, the Center has been extending unwavering support for the welfare of the state. For the people affected, around 145 crore rupees and 124 crore rupees were sanctioned for operation of relief camps and construction of prefabricated houses, respectively. A one-time financial assistance of 1,000 rupees each for the fourth phase, amounting to 23 crore rupees, has been released. And in Sikkim, a two-day district-level review meeting of the National Health Mission for Mangam District concluded yesterday. The meeting assessed all public health programs down to the level of health subcenter for the attainment of universal accessible access to equitable, affordable and quality health care services, accountable and responsive to people's needs with effective intersectoral convergent action to address the wider social determinants of health. And with that, we in the Northeast News Bulletin which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom.